Hello everybody, I'm at the Newtown Creek Nature Walk right now, and uh, well, it smells like shit right now. And the big reason for that is of course the waste water treatment plant over yonder. Uh, this multi-billion dollar wastewater treatment plant treats the wastewater from uh, parts of Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens. I think it is the biggest wastewater treatment plant in New York City, if not the entire universe. Um, you can't really see the whole thing. There's no real shot that would give you the whole thing besides possibly a satellite photo, something like that. But I find it uh, at least heartening that they tried to throw a bone to us, uh, you know, Greenpoint residents here, giving us this little nature walk. It's a couple hundred yards long, maybe. Um, yeah, they planted some uh, some plants that look kind of like weeds, and uh, you know, put some rocks down. Some nice, looks like maybe there's some New York State granite up in here. Um, definitely some mica in these rocks. Uh, let's see, there's a couple water fountains. The water is disgusting. Trust me, don't don't drink the water here. Um, you know, wastewater and all that. Uh, it's got some cool old little docks, dock looking things. Um, actually, I don't know what you would call these. You basically just walk down here and then you try not to fall in because you'll just start to sizzle and d dissolve if you do. Um, yeah, we got some scrap metal operations over by that end of the creek over there. This is really just a tributary of the creek that kind of ends at the wastewater treatment plant over here. Um, that's where the more heavy industry is. Over by, that's the Pulaski Bridge. If you can see it off in the distance, that leads to Long Island City, Queens. So um, this is it. I, it took quite a long time to find this place. Got to go down Page Avenue, which you know, nobody's really heard of, except for the people who work there. And, um, yeah, this is it. This is your tax dollars at work. And nobody's here. It's a beautiful day. I don't expect that anybody comes here on the weekend either, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyway, um, here's a little taste of the most inaccessible part of Greenpoint that you can actually walk to. That's it. And actually what I said before is not completely true. Um, that bridge that you can see a truck passing right now. Nope, can't see it anymore. That bridge is actually, I believe, uh, 495. Um, and of course, I could be wrong about that. It might be the BQE. Um, the Pulaski Bridge is actually this way. And to be fair to this little nature area, well, I mean, this is the view here. but. If you look that away, which I didn't do when I was entering because it was behind me, you actually get a kind of a cool view of Manhattan. And there, that red bridge is the br bridge over Newtown Creek, uh, which separates Brooklyn from Queens near the East River. And you can see the, um, I'm sorry, the Chrysler building over there. Um, that building in the center is actually a Long Island City high rise, as is the building to the right. Um, there's some gulls in the water over there. Um, they're black-headed gulls. I'm not sure exactly which type, but they're not your standard seagull, so pretty fancy. There were some Canada geese uh, before. I don't see them anymore. Maybe they realized how filthy the water is and moved on. And there's a huge brown gull. Wow, he's a big guy. And uh, there's a boat moored over there. So, in conclusion, I think I was a little unfair to the nature walk, um, but just a little. So, kind of cool. Peace. Just one more addendum to my little report here on the New Newtown Creek nature walk. Um, I'm actually starting to enjoy myself a little bit more now that I realize the parts near the entrance actually smell a lot better than when you take the elbow into the deeper into the inlet, which leads to the wastewater treatment plant. Um, where I'm at right now is actually kind of a stadium-style seating zone, which is pretty cool. I can imagine maybe some, you know, some water polo matches going on out there in the creek. 
And I actually just had a visit from a couple gentlemen in shirts and ties, and they were wondering if I had called in a complaint that I had seen some uh, dead crabs here down by the creek. And it wasn't me. I just got here about 15 minutes ago, but um, I'm kind of surprised that they actually expect that crabs will live around here. So that's kind of cool. But there you go.